Let's take a look at another indicator called the parabolic SAR, or what we call the parabolic stop and reverse. A lot of people use this for stock trading, and now you could actually utilize it for Forex. First off, let's actually go into the indicator section and go into the trends, and here you are, drag and drop, and OK. Let me zoom in to show you. You will see a lot of dots below and above the candlesticks. The parabolic SAR actually indicates three things. Number one, it may show you the trend. Number two, it may show you an entry point, and it may show you an exit point. The basic idea on how, to, how people use the parabolic SAR is this. When the dots are above the candles, it indicates the trend that is going downwards. It's a bearish trend. If the dots are below the candles, it indicates an upwards trend, a bullish market. So how to identify an entry point? If the dots, which is the parabolic SAR, are below, right when it starts off, below the candles, it is an entry point for a buy. And when the first dot appears above the candles, it is an exit point. And at the same time, because it is above the candles, it also identifies an entry point for a sell signal. As you may see here already, with the parabolic SAR, there will be a lot of buys and selling orders. So trade safely. And if the markets actually are trending a lot, you may end up with a lot of hedged orders. Now, it is always best to do your own analysis for the major trend first before using the parabolic SAR. So trade safe, guys, and keep up to date with your latest indicators. Oh shit, I fucked up. I don't even know why I said that. Let me just stop.